Hey, what's up, guys? So, synth spooky sounds using Serum. So, this comes down to using sine waves and distortion, I find, and some reverb. So, what it is is that what makes something scary and unsettling is the abstract and, you know, an exaggeration of sorts and the unpredictability. So, sine waves are abstractions of sounds. Sine waves don't exist in the real world. There's not a whole lot of things that generate things that are even close. So, how we make a sine wave is we go into our editor here, go down here to singles, and then sine. And a uh, sine wave is just a mathematically pure tone. And I find that like the low end kind of guttural horror sounds are made using sine waves or um, like, I guess, complicated waveforms with a lot of filtering. Um, so what you want is beating, synth beating. So how you can do that is you can have like two uh, waveforms that kind of match up, but they're not really perfectly in time and they're out of tune with each other. So they kind of beat. So I'll give you an example with unison. This is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like without. I'll go up an octave. So here it is with unison, which is basically spitting it up in two. Or as we have uh, synth beating, right? So that kind of gives you a bit of like dissonance, kind of weirdness, right? And I will detune that to taste. So from there, what I like to do is go to the effects section, right? Simple sine wave, going into the effects, and I want distortion. And yeah, we'll just start with distortion. So the key to a uh, really cool distortion is uh, the right kind of uh, uh, distortion type and the pre-filtering. So this is, this is like a dedicated filter that we can have before the uh, distortion and we have a little boost here, which in turn like overdrives that frequency. So I'm gonna go bandpass for something a little bit uh, extreme. And I'm going to, I guess I'm gonna use uh, diode one. And this offers some like interesting harmonics. I'll boost the drive. And I'm gonna go down to a, a note that sounds, uh, sounds good for the vibe that I'm trying to get. Maybe go to diode two, just give that a try. There we go. Okay, so I have it I have it biting. So this is my note. All right, it's beating a little fast, so I'll adjust the, the detune. And I'm going to add just another one of these, octave down, let's see. all well and good. So from here, I want to filter that out. And if I can find my filter, there it is, adjust the order. So distortion, so filter, distortion, filter. A little bit more drive. Right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, some reverb, some plate, uh, spring reverb is traditionally used, but for the sake of example, I'll just do this. All right, so from there, drop in some more uh, distortion, and this uh, is inspired by uh, the Doom soundtrack, Doom 2016, where he used just white noise and sine waves to make almost everything, and a, a strange looking electric guitar, and a bunch of uh, distortion pedals and stuff like that. Similar thing applies here, it's the unpredictability and like the, the abstraction, taking a pure tone and uh, I guess distorting it up. Right, so I've selected lead amp, which has uh, 
a lot of harmonics and I'm going to actually split this up and notice how it sounds when I split it up. So from there, I'm going to uh, exaggerate around, I guess, uh, where is this? Yeah, around this, I guess, frequency. Um, and another trick that I find um, that I've been uh, experimenting with is the 4,000 hertz range. So, yeah, let's go like a steep kind of thing here. And that will boost that range there. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe I'll add another band just because I'm cool. Right, so that's that's a that's a tone that our ears are finely tuned to hear, as far as I believe, the sound of a of a of a of an infant, right? Right, so there's that, and you know we're kind of getting somewhere. I'll add another EQ, so it's basically just like distortion filter, distortion filter. some low end there and if I'm feeling uh, a little bit uh, a little bit uh, experimental I'll add another reverb and uh, yeah one more EQ just for shaping And that's a, I guess, a brief example of like a synth kind of sound. And you can do all sorts of things in uh, Serum. If we go back to Serum, we can adjust the envelope. Make it a bit more uh, percussive, things like that. And uh, yeah, what else is there? Oh, I almost forgot. We can actually find and we can actually detune it. And uh, that adds a, something, it makes things kind of sound off and stuff like that. All right. So that is, uh, I guess, basic horror synth sounds, uh, sine wave, and uh, distortion. A whole lot of distortion. So sine, sub -osc, um, which is saw, going into filter, pre, into distortion, into filter, into reverb into an EQ, which accentuates the, that frequency that we find kind of terrifying. Um, the ring, the first, uh, the, the American uh, ring movie, uh, the tape that you watch, there's a four, uh, 4K hertz uh, kind of sound wave that occurs there. Uh, that's where I kind of got that idea. Um, distortion, uh, more EQ, reverb EQ, and things like that. And, uh, you know, uh, you can even just kind of have a filter, have this as a, as a low end kind of thing, have it sweep up. You can do all sorts of fun things with this. And uh, yeah, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care and have a good one.